I never scored a goal. He he plays one season on the team and he scores the longest goal in our history. Our team was terrible though. We suck. No, we were kind of, we were like we the were, mighty ducks. We were like the mighty ducks. Yeah, we were the mighty ducks. Yeah. Nobody expected us to win, but we always found ways to win. That was how it was. Is you the ties or wins? Okay, so today's going to be another eventful day. Um, I'm actually showing investment properties to a good friend of mine. 20 years of friendship, roughly. We've known each other since 1996. Um, he's arguably one of the greatest soccer scorers of my high school's generation. Hopefully, he explains that story to you today. Or even get to front of the camera. But we will ask him about that. Go. All right, I'm a bit early, but here we are at 943 St. Mark's Avenue, Crown Heights. Check it out. It's a cool little building. You can check it. What's really cool about this place is it's got a nice little courtyard. If you can see that. You got a nice little courtyard around here, which is fantastic. A couple of facts about Crown Heights if you like foods, such as kosher Caribbean. This is your spot that you have the... West Indies Parade around Labor Day weekend as well, which is always, always popping. But we're going to take a look at some houses. You're going to see some photos, collage of, as you may, of this neighborhood. Good. Give me that. Thank you. I gotta get one for the cameo. <laughs> it's a big guy to get one. I can't walk away. I'm taking a shot. There you go. Nice. What's your name? What's your name? Huh? What's your name? Chris. Chris Gill. Gil. Nice to meet you, man. brother. Thanks for letting me shoot around. All right, take okay. Oh, Let's get into the shade a little bit. All right, I just played five minutes of basketball with some kid at the park. 
You gotta love Brooklyn for that. He let me shoot around, grab some boards. But my form was on, but my accuracy was off. So if Henry the Knicks happened to see me, I'm 6'4", 270. I could play a two and a three, but my shot was off. I'm like Westbrook today, baby, hitting backboard all day. Terrible. Cardio, cold day. I blame it on the air. Blame it on the air. Cold weather. No bueno. There he is. There's the man of the hour. <laughs> The kid in DR that went to that lived in Greece. Small world. That is first of all, this kid's going to Greece. I mean yeah. going to going to DR. Isn't that crazy how you're saying all this? I'm from Greece, he's from Argentina. He went to the Dominican Republic. Yeah. We're all connected. Yeah. Alright, so I'm back in Gowanus after a long day in uh Crown Heights. Quite eventful actually. Met some cool people. Had a nice little brunch spot. Um had to make sure I got everything out of my listing over here in Gowanus. And I must say, meeting old friends, reflecting on memories, but moving to the future is a great, great experience. Um, fun fact, my friend also, as a joke, hit the longest goal in our soccer high school history. It's an unofficial fact. Look it up. You'll never find the answer. But uh, great day overall. Okay. So I just finished uh, taking some items out of the house that I have currently listed. And just an update, we're kind of in contract, we're kind of not, which means uh, the buyers agree to the terms of the sale. Um, they just have to put ink to paper, then my seller will do the same, and then we're officially in contract, which then means we will have a scheduled date to actually close the transaction, everybody exchange funds, and my brokerage and I will get paid for doing our job. Um, hopefully five star rating. So we'll, we'll, we'll have our fingers crossed for that. But let me show you some cool things I was able to get by permission from the seller. Let me check this out. Now keep in mind, if you saw my first video, the building's over a hundred years old. So check it out. I got my phone. Hello. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Original wires, man. That's kind of cool. So I got to keep the, the phone. And uh, this big boy right here. Uh, look at that. Look at this clock. Unbelievable. How crazy is that? But yep. Yeah, I got me a clock, guys, so I can tell what time it is in this world always need to know what time it is so it's currently 10 30 i have about an hour and a half till my showings in crown heights i'm gonna probably take a cab there so i don't lose this parking spot and uh we'll go from there all right see you soon